the, with other students and teaches the Latino Scholars and Mentoring Program, as well as a social support group for Brookline High School girls, aptly named the Girls Group. Lastly, she performed this year as Lupe Reina in her school's production of Zoot Suit, a play about race relations by Latino playwright Luis Valdez. Tatiana, congratulations. And next is Mark Fitzgerald. He's a senior at Needham High School. As a junior in the spring of 2004, Mark was nominated to chair the Needham High Civil Rights Team, an advisory group and open forum founded by teachers and students in response to rising racial tensions at the school. As a senior this past fall, Mark undertook, undertook 25 hours of training, weekly meetings before school, and regular classroom visits to become a high school peer facilitator for the Anti-Defamation League. A few months ago, Mark coordinated Needham High School's Student Speak Out Assembly on racial and ethnic discrimination issues and presented a slideshow displaying graphic examples of hate graffiti found at the school and in neighboring towns. Lastly, Mark joined the Town of Needham's Human Rights Committee, a multidimensional task force that meets regularly to promote diversity and to raise communities' consciousness about racial issues. Congratulations, Mark. <laughs> Next up, we have Mark Fitzgerald. Thanks to the Princeton Prize for Race Relations Committee for this award. It has been humbling to be a candidate for it, and even more humbling to receive it. Reading the accomplishments of Ms. Fernandez and the others who received certificates, I am very appreciative of how fortunate I am to share this award with her. I understand that I am just a recent high school graduate speaking to an audience, many of whom have the benefit of a Princeton education. But I do want to try and share a little of uh, what I learned at Needham High and, Needham, and the Needham community with you. At our graduation, Superintendent Theall mentioned a classmate of mine from elementary, middle, and high school, Jake Vanderspeck, who passed away two years ago. Jake was confined to a wheelchair throughout his short life, but was courageous, joyous, and an inspired person to everyone who met him. Superintendent Theo recalled how my classmates funded, helped design, construct, and dedicate a garden and fountain on a site Jake used to enjoy most at our elementary school. We did that as part of a community that cares for each other, that recognizes how important Jake was to each of us. This is the Needham that I am proud to be a part of. When Principal Richards, the teachers and students at Needham High School identified behaviors that were the opposite of caring and that were hurting others in our community, we took steps to raise awareness of and start the battle against prejudice and discrimination. I am proud to be part of that effort. The Civil Rights Team was the first group formed at Needham High to examine prejudice and discrimination there. After the first meeting, I approached two students, both black and both targets of many incidences of racism. I knew they had a better perspective than I had on what was happening. I asked them, how often does this happen? How often are you targeted? One of the two looked at me with a tear of pain falling from her eye. Every day, she responded, every day. I saw the fibers of humanity stretch to the very breaking point that day, on the verge of snapping. I wanted to help, to make a change. I wanted answers. I wanted to know how one person could hurt another so. Perhaps as I grow older, I will come to understand how people can hate others, can practice thoughtless, painful prejudice against members of the same community, how people can fail to see the courage and beauty that a person like Jake or anyone brings to life. That is what I find most difficult. I cannot understand how diversity fosters intolerance in some hearts rather than the celebration of differences. I cannot understand how one person is able to harm another. I cannot understand how some of my classmates question why someone who is white-haired, well, I'm sorry, white, blue-eyed, and blonde-haired is concerned for others and believes in com combating intolerance no matter who the target is. Maybe I am still too young because I cannot understand how people do not celebrate the richness and diversity that an inclusion brings to our schools and to our communities. I do hope that what we have started in Needham will improve race relations there. I know with time, patience, and effort, the strings of compassion among members of the Needham community will resonate with newfound harmonic chords. Thank you so much for this award and, the, and uh, that recognizes the efforts of so many young, uh, so many people who are working so hard to accomplish what seems to be so simple and yet so important, caring for others. Thank you. difficult to choose between the two and also why we decided 
this year uh, to uh, break the tradition and hear from the students themselves. They're really inspiring stories, aren't they? Let's give them a hand again. They've basically laid out the challenge for all of us as adults. So hopefully you all will continue to support the efforts of young people as we, uh, as we and they try to continue to combat racism. Um, now to our featured speaker. I probably, you probably doesn't like to be called a featured speaker. But, uh, <laughs> and he also doesn't need any introduction, so this will be quite short, because I know all of us want to hear from my 